That's all right. Um, so let's try this one. Uh, a 150 gram sample of metal at um, 75.0 degrees Celsius is added to 150 grams of water at 15 degrees Celsius. The temperature of the water rises to 18.3 degrees Celsius. Calculate the specific heat capacity of the metal, assuming that all the heat lost by the metal is gained by the water. So let's go ahead and write down the things that they give you in the problem. So they say 150 gram <coughs> sample of metal. So they know. So we know the mass of the metal. 150.0 um, at 75 degrees Celsius. So they give us the initial temperature of the metal, 75.0 degrees C, is added to 150 grams of water. So to give you the mass of water, 150.0 grams at the initial temperature of water, which is 15 degrees. The temperature of the water rises, so they say the final temperature, to 18.3 degrees C when the metal is put in there. So they want you to calculate the specific heat capacity. What you, want, what you have to realize is the temperature of the metal and the temperature of the water are going to be the same temperature when you're at equilibrium. So Tf of the metal is also going to be 18.3 degrees C. Okay. Um, the constant they didn't give you in this problem, and it would be at the top of the page, it would be the heat capacity of water, which you need, 4.184 joules per gram degree C. And like I said, that will be good enough. So you're looking for the heat capacity of the metal. What is that? Well, so we can do some other things. Oh, this should be 15.0. I know it's not written up there. Okay. Anyways, um, so the thing that we want to know, or what we need to know, is the delta T for both of these. Because hopefully you guys see what we're doing here. We're doing M times C times delta T, right? So the specific heat equation. Okay, so we're going to need to know the specific heat for both of these substances, or that equation for both of these substances. So delta T, of course, is Tf minus Ti. And in this case, it's 18.3 degrees C minus 75.0 degrees C. Minus 56.7. What is it? 56.7. <coughs> so negative 56.7 degrees C. So that's the change in temperature of that. So let's go over here and do the change in temperature of this one. So delta T here is going to be final minus initial, so 18.3 degrees C minus 15.0 degrees C is 3.3 degrees C. Okay, so the other thing you know about systems and surroundings, right, is that if heat flows out of the system, it flows into the surroundings. Is everybody okay with that? So, in other words, our system we can think of as the hot metal piece, right? And the surroundings being the water, or the coffee cup calorimeter. So, in other words, negative heat, right, from the metal is equal to the positive amount of heat that's going into the calorimeter, or into the water. Okay? Is everybody okay with that setup? Hopefully. So, Q, remember, we know Q equals C M delta T, okay, or M C delta T, or however you like to put those things together. So, on this side, we have C of the metal times M of the metal times delta T of the metal, right, equals, that's the negative, times the C of water times delta T of water times M of water, okay? So, let's just put that together. So we're going to have the negative 
m of the metal times the c of the metal times the delta t of the metal. And that equals m of the water times the c of the water times the delta t of the water. Okay, so we're looking for C metal here, so we have to isolate that variable. <coughs> so in this case, C metal equals negative MH2O, CH2O, delta T H2O, divided by M metal. Delta T. No. Okay. So everybody see how we've gotten there? Okay. You good with that? You good with that one? Mm -hmm. You good with that? So now let's just we got everything. So all it is is plugging in, right? So mass of water, 150. Specific heat of water, 4.184 joules per 1 gram degree C. Change of temperature of the water. 3.3 degrees C. <coughs> On the bottom, the mass of the metal is 150 grams, 150.0 grams. And the change in temperature, negative 56.7 degrees C. So now let's cancel our units on the top. Grams cancel with grams. Degree C cancels with degree C. So now we're going to have for our units joules per gram degree C. So that is that good specific heat capacity units? Yes. Okay. So if we're, if we're good. Right? And specific heat capacities, can they ever be negative numbers? Does that make sense to have them as negative numbers? No. So, Remember, you have a negative here, so you're going to have to have some negative somewhere in here to cancel that other negative out, and we've got that. So these are good checks for you guys, okay? So units, make sure it's a positive number. So let's just go through this. 150 times 4.184 times 3.3 divided by 150 divided by 56.7. Um, so I got an answer that is zero point, and it's got to be the two sig figs, right? Zero point two four joules per gram degree C for the specific heat capacity of this metal. Okay, is that what you got? Is that what you got? Yes. 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 Okay, good. You got that? Okay, are there any questions on this one? Questions? Gentlemen? Anything? Okay.